Oh, this thing's looking sick! Let's go! Welcome back, guys. Part two of the Ram build. Uh, if you haven't checked out the first video, guys, we'll put the link in the description. But we're into it, and we're not mucking around. The car has been down at East Off Road. The boys have stripped it and basically taken heaps of bits and pieces, the tub, grill, all that's gone, because we're down here at Slick As. Now, you'll know these guys from their bush wraps, protective coating, and we found out they now do vinyl wrapping. So, I rang up the team at Slick As to make sure that this thing was gonna be protected for the trucks over in America. Found out they did vinyl wrapping, so we had a look at your comments on YouTube of what color you wanted the car, and we're into it. Let's go see the Ram for the first time in its new color. I haven't seen it yet. I am nervous. I'm not 100% sure if I've made the right decision. Let's go find Sammy and uh, see how we went. Sammy! Hello, Maddie. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. So I was just telling the team that Slick As are now doing vinyl wrapping. Sure are. That's a little bit exciting. I know, it's very exciting. Obviously you do your PPF protection and you've got the bush wraps kits that you guys do as well. Yep. And now vinyl wraps. Yes, it's been a little bit daunting getting into wrapping cars because it's a complete different field. Yep. Um, but we've got experienced installers now, so it's that little bit easier to fall back onto someone to help us. Um, but yeah, you are going to be amazed with it. Just I was just saying, I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't seen it yet. But um, is it finished? Nelly, we Almost. just got the roof to do. The roof to do. Yeah, that's it. All right, well, it was white, guys. Let's go have a look. Yeah, let's go. In the booth. Here she is. Oh, oh wait. It's now part of the fleet. Wow. You love it? Definitely looks a lot better than white. It I'm frothing. We didn't go a matte finish this time. I went no. a matte finish on the GU. I hate it. I wouldn't recommend anyone ever doing a matte wrap unless you're gonna come see the team and get it protective coating over the top. The matte finish, everything stains it. I actually, I actually hate it. So the GU will probably be coming in shortly to get fully redone. That is totally fine. Yeah, <laughs> matte is like more coarse, so you can see the scratches a lot more. Any bit of oil, grease, everything is just All absolutely wrecked it. Yeah. Fingerprints. How good. You've done a bloody good job too. Damn. That's neat. I've seen a lot of wrapped cars in my time, and to be honest, I'm still a bit iffy on, on uh, if I love it or not, because probably I've just had a bad experience, but that's so clean. Obviously, when you open up the inside of the car doors, you're still gonna see bits and pieces of white, but the way you finish that's epic. I wasn't actually expecting that. I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. Well done, team. Good job. Thank you, it's been fun. So there you go guys, if you are looking at getting your car wrapped, make sure you come down, check out the team at Slick As, because not only can they look after you with all their uh, bush wraps kits, but they can also wrap your cars. So to protect the vinyl wrap, we are gonna put a full bush wraps kit on it as well, and that way the car's basically double protected. So any scratching or whatnot over in America, uh, I'll be able to just peel the bush wraps kit off when I go to sell it, and this vinyl wrap underneath it will be absolutely mint, which means I don't have to pull off the whole wrap that will get destroyed uh, if it didn't have the bush wraps. So, frothing, let's get this build going. <laughs> Tell you what, a little bit excited. We jumped the gun this morning. We knew the boys weren't 100% ready to put everything on, but I just had to come down and have a look. So I'll run you through a couple of things that are going on. Quick little update, and then uh, we'll be back first thing tomorrow morning when things are really gonna heat up. But um, straight away, we've got the Outback Kitters uh, roof rails on there with the uh, Pioneer rack up on top. The wrap is completely finished now. All the roof is done. We're gonna have our OG graphics down the side of the car as well. And then on top of that, obviously we're gonna go back to bush wraps, make sure it's all protected, which will be a gloss. So it's gonna pop even more. Now, have a look over here. Tray mounts are going on. That's why we rocked up. We got excited. We heard the tray canopies here. So we run down and have a quick look. So we'll show you that very shortly. But tray mounts are on. We got the new uh, 2500 Brown Davis long range tank. 
to obviously we've run this on the 79, we've got one of these in the GU. With all Explore Life Touring, we try and go as remote as possible. So we always need that extra fuel capacity. Uh, they come with a 120 litre tank standard, that's not gonna cut the cheddar. The auxiliary tank, this is a whole another 120 litres. So as usual guys, Brown Davis, strong as all buggery, Australian made down there in Melbourne. Uh, Obviously, all, it's got all your baffles in there, everything you want in your, in your secondary tank. It's got the drain plug at the back as well, guys. So if you do accidentally contaminate your fuel or you put the wrong fuel in, you can simply undo the bottom drain plug, let it all run out. It's a transfer tank, this one. So uh, flick a button in the cab, pumps from your auxiliary into your main tank. So we've doubled our fuel capacity or diesel capacity in the 2500, which is definitely gonna come in handy for these long hauls over on those uh, open roads in America. Wouldn't build a car without a long range tank, especially for touring. Let's sneak outside. Let's go have a look at this tray, eh? Absolutely frothing. The finish on these GCI trays is absolutely insane. Uh, now look, with any of our touring rigs, obviously we want as much fresh water as we possibly can, so we can stay off grid. Uh, we got the 60 litre full poly tank built into the headboard. And then underneath, guys, 85 litre poly tank mounted up nice and, uh, nice and high in front of this huge trundle drawer. So we still get a massive trundle drawer and 85 litres. So about 145 litres of uh, fresh water. We had 150 in the, uh, in the 79, so exactly the same, which to me is probably the optimum. Go any more and you're really just carrying a bucket load of weight. I mean, everything's heavy anyway, and you can... That's a good thing about having two tanks, is if you want to limit your weight, you can run more in the headboard and not, not have as much underneath. But 150 litres is epic uh, for, for those long range touring, plenty of fresh water showers, whatever you, whatever you sort of need. So let's have a look at the back. Two metre by two metre deck. We've gone with the 1750 canopy, I believe, uh, which means the spare wheels will be on the back of the tray. I sort of prefer that rather than having them hanging right off the back of the canopy. Keeps that weight nice and uh, forward and centered over your uh, axles as well, but stay tuned. I'll come back tomorrow. Let's get this bad boy on. All right, well, I'll give you a quick look. We're just on the way out, but here it is guys, all wrapped up, the GCI canopy, and then come over here real quick. All the internals ready to go in as well, guys. So it all comes uh, ready to go from GCI. We're gonna pop in and out as much as we can. We'll try and capture like the tray going on, canopy going on. Then they gotta do the full fit out. It's definitely a couple days worth of work but we are on the time crunch. We're down to about three and a half weeks to get this whole thing done. So the boys are going round the clock for me, but we're gonna capture as much as we possibly can. Mate, the boys have been busy. Yeah, yeah, it's been good, it's been good. Few, few new add-ons to the GCI tray. Yep. Tray's on, obviously our new boxes, air systems, the two airbag man compressors, two three-gale tanks, and we've got the big Sherpa rear winch looking hot. Slowly coming together, guys, so that's pretty sick. How come we went in the dual tanks? Just more air capacity? Just more air, that, that inflow when you, when you want to pump up the tyres. Airbags will go up and down quicker, all that sort of stuff. We haven't said what the suspension is yet, yeah, but that yeah. may be a little inkling into what's coming. Yeah. Uh, so we do have the dual tanks, dual airbag compressor that may tie in or may not tie in with the suspension. Um, tray looks good, man. I'm absolutely frothing. So we got the standard powder coat finish, the nice um, gloss black on the doors. You'll see that on the canopy as well. Um, and yeah, it's a, what's the, how big's the winch on the back? That's a 12,000 Sherpa. We're gonna go 17 and a half on the front. Yeah, so 17 and a half on the front. That's all we need on the rear. It's all we can fit on the rear, but. We ummed and out over whether we do a rear winch, is it overkill, but truth be told, I actually used the rear winch on the 79 more than I did on the front winch, which is pretty wild, but you just find so many uses for the rear winch that come in super handy. I see the canopies coming along. Canopy's getting there, nearly ready to go on. We've, we've got, what, a few hours left? A few hours left, it's, it's looking sick. So there's only a couple of components that are left to go in. But while it's not finished, let's go have a quick look. I want to show you the 12 volt system before it all gets hidden away. All right guys, doors are on in the gloss black. <whistles> She's coming together. 
Wait till you see the other side with the kitchen. We're going to leave that for the final reveal. But one thing I wanted to show you before it gets uh, all fully enclosed is the 12 volt system. So run us through a little bit of what's going on. Obviously behind, not even going to tell you what's going in here, but behind the, we'll call them drawer areas, we got the two Red Arc lithium batteries. We do, yeah, it's a bit more power than the 79. The yeah. Two 200 amp lithium. 400 amps of lithium, so we're not going to be shy on battery no, power. No, no, you don't be running out. <laughs> but we're going to have some uh, some pretty cool uh, appliances on the other side. Yeah. We won't go there yet, but yeah, yep. Red Vision, Red Arc, a couple of new products. We're super excited. It's been awesome. It looks awesome. This is one of the first canopy setups, if not the first canopy setup, with their new Rogue unit. Yeah, TVMS Rogue. So we've uh, one step further again. We've got two of them. So heaps of switching. We can monitor our tanks, obviously all the battery management, absolutely everything. We've got dual Red Vision screens either side. No running around to turn your inverter on or anything. So obviously we run a very similar system without the Rogue in the 79. The uh, Red Vision screen's so handy. Basically this is your control pad for all of your lighting, your water tanks, your inverter on off. Uh, we, we had it powering the travel buddy in the other truck. It's gonna power a few things on this truck as well. But one thing that really did annoy me, and this is definitely first world problems, but every time you wanted to turn on an accessory on the kitchen side, I'd have to come around to my power side. So now we're running one on this side to control all the lights and all your main accessories and the same on the other. So that's a bit flash. Yeah, yeah, no, it's super cool. But, big, uh, big 3000 watt inverter too this time. So we've stepped it up again, 2000 watt inverter in the last truck. 3,000 watt Synwave inverter uh, in this, which will make sense soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon, just wait, we'll get there. We've got the new the new core charger, the Red Arc core, so that we're just gonna be able to do solar and DC DC at the same time, plus the manager, just like your other truck, so. So that means we've got uh, 30 amps coming into the TVMS, uh, another 40 amp coming in via the core, and you can actually have solar coming in at the exact same time, so. Absolutely massive amount of charge coming through off the vehicle and the solar into 400 amps of batteries for often. Yeah, yeah, can't wait. We're getting there. It's going to look awesome. So it's slowly coming together. I just thought I'd come in this morning, give you a quick sneak peek. We're still not going to show you the other side. You're going to have to wait for the reveal video, the full video, to see what we've done on the other side. But, mate, it's coming, it's coming along. How long we got till Brizzy show? Yeah, not long. <laughs> literally, literally days now. A week and a half, but we still need to film a full reveal video it's got to go get slick as it's got to get all the decals on it so he's about a week left which is insane we still got the suspension to go in uh the side steps to go on the front end's got to get finished the interior is still pulled apart i might get out of here and and leave you to it but little update guys we're getting there nice Good work on. mate looks unreal Righto, we're back. So what's happening, Mike? They're ripping in. Yeah, mate, today it's uh, up, up and away, literally, mate. We're, uh, we've got the BDS 4-inch lift kit now. These kits are second to none. Uh, we paired it up with the, the Fox DSC. So that's the uh, dual pressure adjusters. So it's dual speed. You can do it for high and for low speed. So these have been down to uh, Mike's shock shop as well, which is where the 79 got all tuned up, where the patrol shocks got all tuned up. Fox shocks went straight down to Mike. He's tuned these. Uh, to suit the extra weight we're going to have on the back. Yep, absolutely. Yep. She's going to be a heavy girl. We've got the coils, we've got all the bracketry to make sure the articulation is perfect. We've done some custom power coating on the radius arms. So this is going to look absolutely oh, sick. Kale and the boys are going to town, custom to suit the uh, color of the truck. I'm just laughing at the componentry size and all this. I'm used to the cruiser. I've <laughs> got the bushes on these radius arms. They are absolutely ginormous. These things are heavy duty as all buggery. So the springs are coming out, factory springs are out. Have a look at the size of the new springs going in. It is a four inch kit. Something exciting going in the rear as well. Yeah. Are we gonna let that out of the bag now? Or? Just, yeah. See, did you see the pun there? Yeah, I let see that out of the bag. I picked that when you put them down. <laughs> now nah, look, that's gonna be really cool. It's something that Matt needs. Um, you know, it just really enhances his whole touring ability also, especially yep. if you're living out of a canopy a bit. So. 100%, so we've got the uh, air ride, full air ride in the rear, guys. So coils are coming out, they're going in the bin. Uh, full air ride set up, which is why we're obviously running the twin airbag man compressors. With the bigger tanks, it's airbag man uh, bags. Yep, yep. So we'll show you when it's all in, but the main idea behind this, obviously I've run bags uh, full air ride in the GU all around. Uh, so we're pretty, we're pretty familiar with the product. 
Didn't necessarily need it in the front, but I've decided to put it in the rear because four inch kit, this truck is gonna sit extremely high and I don't wanna have one of those canopies where I need a little stool to be able to access everything. You're about nine foot tall, it might be a bit different, but I'm a short ass. So uh, fingers crossed, we'll just be able to dump 100 mil out of the rear, should make everything a lot more accessible. Absolutely, mate, it makes it a lot more livable. And also it's a really comfy ride. You know, the guys at Airbag, man, they know their stuff. They've built a really damn good kit for this. Yep. And it's just gonna handle perfect for you. So more, more comfort, then I'm also gonna be towing and not towing as well. So you get that easy adjustability on the road where you can pump your bags up to level out your ride, take the van off, drop the air pressures down, level out your ride. There's so many upsides to running bags, but I think the, one of the biggest ones for me was just being uh, able to access that canopy a little bit easier. So mm -hmm. let's get into it. The boys are gonna rip in this afternoon and then we might come back uh, when it's all in and, and show off the finished product. Absolutely, product. mate. This thing's gonna ride like an absolute beast and it's gonna be really good, so we're pumped. Four inch, this thing's gonna be <laughs> getting down to the pointy end of the build now the boys have got all the suspension in the bds kit with the fox it looks hot uh we need to get rid of these i've actually just got the wheels and tires here and we're going to fit one up but uh as you can see i'm not going to let you see in here just yet that's still staying a secret but have a look at the cali lean on this thing so we did let it out of the bag that we've gone bags in the rear. So I'll run you through that full suspension uh, when we go through the, the final build video. But something that was really important with all these big American trucks is they sit up so high, your bench is up here and it's basically, it's not usable. I don't want to be standing there and have to get a little step out every time I got to use the car. So the bags gives us the opportunity to drop it right down, make this full kitchen setup, which you're going to see in the final reveal. It's that good, eh? It's actually off its head. Um, makes it usable, which is what we wanted the whole time. Let's just go sneak the wheel on and just make sure these custom wheels from ROH fit. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, this has been the little final piece of the puzzle. Like any full drive you build, you always wish you went bigger, but um, I reckon it's gonna actually sit perfect. I'm so stoked on these ROH wheels. Stay tuned, because they will be coming uh, for a Ram very shortly. The BFs on the ROHs. Oh, this thing's looking sick. That's it, guys. That's all you're getting to see, so stay tuned. Next week, we're dropping the full build video where you'll get to see it 100% finished. The decals will go on, wheels, tires, the canopy will be done. Wait till you see the front end on this thing. The boys, Carl's actually nailed it. I was a bit uncertain of the colour scheme, but it's all coming together. Let us know what you think in the comments so far. Smash that like button. Shout out to all our subscribers, you legends. Next week, stay tuned.